I just got to the vet. I had to bring Ren in. Um, I just called them. They're supposed to come out to the car and get her. So that's why I just keep peeking. Um, she has been sick since Christmas. She started losing a ton of weight and I knew that it was either like parasites, worms, giardia, something like that. And so sure enough, we took in a fecal sample to the vet that we usually take our dogs to. And sure enough, they called the next day. She was prescribed medication, but she's at the point where she will not hold down her medication. We have to force the pill like down her throat because she's not eating any food. She won't even take it with like a hot dog, cream cheese, butter, ice cream, like nothing, peanut butter, nothing. So yeah, we have to like force it down her throat. We've been giving her like Pedialyte and water and dog bone broth that's specifically for dogs in a syringe. And we've been like force feeding her like that. And she just throws it up, throws it up with her medication so basically the antibiotics aren't working because she just keeps throwing it up so if you guys were to see her body you would freak out because she literally looks like a walking skeleton so we're here at the vet now um it's new year's eve so everything is going to be closed like tomorrow in fact, the normal veterinary hospital that we take our dogs to is closed today. And I called about 50 places this morning trying to get her seen. And luckily this place was able to get her in. So I brought her here. They just took her inside now with COVID and everything like that. I can't be with her. I have to wait out in my car. So yeah, I'm just waiting. Got poor ren in the back let's see how she looks hi baby we're home i got to go inside okay <sighs> all right so ren is in her crate it's kind of like her safe spot so we have her nice and warm in there and I'm going to give her her medication now. I have to give this to her. And then I also have to give her this antibiotic, which is like really, really big. So they wanted me to give this to her when I got home, which I don't know how she's going to take that without food. So I'm gonna give her this now since it is a liquid and then I'm gonna wait like an hour to give her this one just to make sure that she keeps it down because I feel like if I give her both medications right away, um, she might get sick. So I have her little um, cup of Pedialyte right here that I've been giving her with a syringe. So I'm gonna give her this and then I'm going to give her her Pedialyte just to kind of wash it down because um, I don't know if this tastes gross or not. So, here you go, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, okay. It's okay. It's all right. Okay. You gotta drink some water, okay? You gotta swallow it. Oh my god. This is heartbreaking. Okay. Get paper towel. this away. Wash my hands.
update on Ren. Um, it is New Year's. Last night was New Year's Eve and we didn't do anything. We went or I went to my mom's house to eat dinner and then I came home and we just took care of Ren pretty much all last night of course and um, just cuddled with her on the couch and pet her and loved on her and last night was so rough. We stayed up till probably after one o'clock and we were contemplating taking her to an emergency animal hospital because she was just looking so so bad like it was the saddest thing ever. We didn't know what to do um, but we called like every emergency hospital in Albuquerque and they were at like a six hour plus wait and now with COVID and stuff you have to wait in your car and we just figured okay let's just go to sleep we're better off resting here rather than putting her in the cold and it's freezing cold um so we don't want to like put her in the car and have her wait in the car for you know six seven hours uncomfortable especially when she was just doing really bad so we stayed home she held down her medication um all day yesterday she held down her medication her water that we were giving her through a syringe everything and um, same thing today. I think she threw up maybe one time today, but we've been giving her, you know, as, as much liquids as possible along with her medication. We've been giving her a special kind of broth that's for dogs that has nutrients in it. We've also been giving her baby food in a syringe, which I think is really helping kind of just coat her stomach and actually like give her stomach something to work with with the medication so um yeah today was the first day where we were like wow okay we actually have you know hope that she's gonna be okay um she was able to walk to the door walk outside she walked outside and drank so much water which is the first time that we actually didn't have to force force her water with a syringe she went and drank water herself which was huge and she was wagging her tail a little bit which was so exciting because she has just been like a zombie and it's hard for me to show her body on camera because it's just the saddest thing ever. Like she's literally lost all of her weight. Like she looks like a skeleton. And last night was really, really hard for us. We were just really upset because we were like, okay, you know, we don't want her to be in pain, but we also don't want to just give up especially because the doctors did prescribe her four new medications. So, you know, we don't want to just not try, but then again, we don't want her to be in pain. So we were just really conflicted last night on whether, you know, what do we do? Do we take her in? And I don't know, it's just, it's really hard going through this. And then it's hard too, because we have Beckham you know, to take care of, and we can't really, like, leave her out. We kind of have to put her in her kennel with her blankets and stuff because Beckham tries to, like, squeeze the dogs all the time, and he lays on them, and he pulls their hair, and, like, he's just, he's really rough with the dogs, long story short. So we're trying to kind of keep her safe, but as soon as he goes to sleep, we have been, you know, putting her on the couch with us and loving her and stuff like that. This is AJ's Father's Day present. Yes, yes, Phoebe, you're cute too. But we still haven't picked out a name for her. I've been calling her Ren, like W-R-E-N. She is a 
beagle. I almost forgot. But she's a lemon drop beagle. JB, get off of her. So lemon drop beagles, they're like the lighter brown color, but they're more rare than a regular brown and black beagle. And AJ has always wanted a beagle. Excuse our kitchen, we're packing to move, so it looks like a disaster. Hope you guys have a great Father's Day and a great rest of your weekend. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Excited for your spot day, girl? Yeah, you need it because you have hair. You literally got hair everywhere just getting into the car. That's cool, you need it.